no, wait, hold on. There was one other thing I was supposed to talk about before we get back to the gaming part of this, because there's the third stool uh, of the fantasy building, you know, fantasy design here that you've been a part of, and that is writing for existing IPs and the mother of existing IPs. So we'll get to fade after this, but you have written a Star Wars novel. You contracted with the Star Wars novel. So when yeah, this one right here, as we were just saying, Star Wars, a pirate's yep. price. So that is, I guess, kind of a third way that instead of trying to create your own stuff and then either go traditionally published with it or try to uh, independently publish stuff, the other way to do it would be to try to work on existing worlds, which I guess has advantages and disadvantages, if you can do it. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of that? And you, of course, you've done a lot more of your own stuff than uh, contract well, work. That's, what is that experience like? That's hard work to go after. They came to me for that. That's not, and it's, um, but you know, one of the advantages is there's a, there's a, you know, there's a huge fan base for that. And most of them are there for whatever the property is and aren't going to follow you home, but some of them do follow you home. And uh, I've, I've made a lot of friends, made a lot of contacts and gotten some readers from the star Wars. Uh, you know, one of the advantages is star Wars and it was, a, it was absolutely a blast to do. And the character I wrote about was was Hondo Onaka, who's a animated character from the Clone Wars and from Star Wars Rebels, and he's voiced by Jim Cummings. And I, when I, and he's got a very singular voice. And when I was approached to write the novel, I said, "Can I write it in first person? Because it, it has to be in his voice. It has to be told in his voice." And my editor said, "You know, well, I don't think we've ever done a first person book before, but sure." And we wrote it in first person, and then. Uh, I was having lunch with her and I said, yeah, I don't know if, if you guys do audiobooks." And she goes, yeah, we do audiobooks." I said, well, um, you know, has anybody approached Jim Cum Cummings to do the audiobook?" And she's like, I don't know. I'll check. And she called up the audiobook department and they had already signed someone and hadn't even thought to ask Cummings. And she prodded them to ask Cummings and he said yes. So he reads the audiobook in, in Hondo's oh, voice. Man. And it's it's awesome. It's also probably like, like Hondo is a reoccurring character, but I doubt that his all of his lines together from Clone Wars and Rebels adds up to more than like a chapter. And so this is probably the most Hondo Anaka he's ever done in his life. And it's it's absolutely beautiful. There's one section where Hondo is imitating Han Solo. And so you get to hear oh. Han, Hondo's impression of Solo, and it's hysterical. But that was something that, that people came to you for. Yes. They you didn't go out and seek that out. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and all of that jazz. It really helps a lot. But also, please check out The Cultists, the web series on this channel about modern-day D&D playing Lovecraftian cultists who just want to worship Cthulhu in a world full of people who just don't understand. Season 1 is on the channel now. But also, please check out my YouTube channel. I have over 150 videos on tabletop games and the fantasy genre. If you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy many of them as well. I look forward to seeing you for them and many more videos to come.